Okay, so there's the lettuces that I just put in the ground. And just so that we can keep adequate track, I'll just smush a couple of ants in my shoe, sorry. That one is the one that was really, really bad in the uh, base area and only had spare, sparingly few roots. There's not a whole lot of good leaf activity. I don't have a whole lot of hope that it's gonna survive. And if it doesn't, that's okay. This one here, I have hope for survival. Maybe I'll get lucky enough, it'll just give me a stalk of flowers with some seeds. I'll be all right with that. I'm really hopeful this one here will stick around long enough now that it's in some good soil that maybe I can get some actual lettuce out of it until my spinach seeds are successfully sprouted. I haven't yet successfully sprouted spinach since I had a few sprout right before flood. But yeah, that didn't work out so well. But who knows? I never know what I might find elsewhere in my garden. I have to wait for things to finish popping up so I can identify it before I pull it. Trees are a very common occurrence in this here garden. So I'm not sure quite yet what I'm going to do with all the celery. That one that looks all sad. I just moved it yesterday. It was over there next to the strawberry. But the strawberry was not getting enough sun. It's giving me new flowers and new leaves. It's happy. So I wanted it to be even happier with more sun to work with. I got a little citronella leaf in there just to hope to get to keeping some bugs off of it while it continues to thrive. I just moved this citronella yesterday too, so that's why it looks sad. But they always come back and they give me roots. Bush beans there came from a neighbor I just put in the ground yesterday. And they're already improving, so I'm happy about that. Yay! And the sunflowers, we fertilize, so they'll be improving here shortly. But that's it for the moment. I got some other stuff I gotta go do now. If anybody has any questions about my garden, uh, I guess leave them in the comments and I'll figure out how to look through that stuff. I don't even know how to see my subscribers or whatever. Um, I have two. <laughs> I have two whole subscribers. Uh, it's actually kind of strange. I never thought I'd have my own YouTube channel. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Welcome to the journey with me. Later.